What's up everybody? Welcome back to Fugate Farms. Today we have a, uh, I told you guys we're getting ready to start on some fencing stuff. So I've got to take out this old fence that's here because my new posts that were just welded up by the uh, people we bought the land from, they actually had this fence about two feet off from where it's supposed to be. So I'm moving the new fence line. It's gonna run out in that pasture. You probably can't see it down there, but way back that way is the other brace post for the next corner. So I'm just gonna set up a time lapse and I got a string, a string line across the bottom here to set kind of where my posts are gonna go and start spacing my posts out and try to get some fence up. I'm gonna to try to see if I can get this one side done. I can't put up all the posts and then come back a couple days later because all the cattle out in this field, everything that's out here is a scratching post to them. So I'm afraid if I put the T posts up and they're not covered with barbed wire, they'll be pushing the T posts completely over. So I've got to do it one run at a time. So that's what I got going on today. Beautiful Oklahoma weather. I've been traveling so much, I don't even know what it's like to be back home. I was in Vegas all last week for a big conference that I have to go to every year. And uh, just got home last night. My flight landed at almost one o'clock in the morning. So got up this morning, went to the store, bought some T-posts, some fence and that kind of stuff. And we're gonna get started. afraid of that just got started and my strings not long enough to make it let's go dig through the uh, the infamous garage see what I can find in there probably not much but uh, we're gonna go try yeah, good news is I found my other string so go down there and tie onto this one and uh, or tie onto that one tie this one onto that one I don't know y'all know what I'm trying to say my mouth ain't working today words are hard okay i'm gonna go down there and do something with these two strings to make them attach to that other post so i can put fence posts in how about that uh, i'm frustrated too mama cow gone through two strands or two spools now of wire. We're still not here. Got an audience though. What? Look at the little calf. You're not very old, buddy. Not very old at all. All right, got my string in, got everything cleaned up. Getting ready to run this first row here. I'm gonna set the very first T-post for the new fence. This is kind of exciting, y'all, because once this fence is done, then all other sorts of things can happen, but we can't really do much anything until we fence this perimeter, so it's a big day.
think I can put in waist high T posts. How about the wrong size posts? Probably not gonna get any fencing done today. All right, well, we're back. Went to a trash fly, exchanged all of the T posts for the right size T posts. So now I get to start over again. So here we go, round seven now. Maybe I've got everything I need this time. Who knows, probably not. We're rocking now. it is super windy out here we're on day two and uh if you look behind me you can see we ended up on this run like 45 posts so i gotta mark my stretch posts here and start setting my height to my wire and then we're gonna start stringing barbed wire so uh big fire going on somewhere it's real hazy it's real windy i'm kind of limited on what i can do as far as talking so it's gonna be be some time lapse probably but uh day two here we go sitting here stringing fence on this piece of property that we just recently finished paying for. Got the old Beats pill out here playing me some music while I work. And let me tell you, you know, make sure I don't crush my tailgate. Speaking of Daniel Arms, he talked just the other day about the song by dirt and it came on while i'm out here stringing the fence on my dirt i don't know it's just kind of a cool thing first time i've ever owned property that i've worked on like this not the first time i've ever owned a house or anything else like this just just different such a neat thing go buy some dirt look at that Coming out here to help me and bringing me a, what'd you bring me? An Arnold Palmer? Brought me an Arnold Palmer. Guys, get you a woman that'll come help you build fences when you, when you buy dirt and bring you a cold Arnold Palmer. And when she's doing something, you should bring her a cold drink too and help her out. Goes both ways, don't it, baby? Do I bring you stuff? Sometimes. Not all the time. I'm not perfect. 
I'm gonna ask for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, good. She's a good woman with a great sense of humor too. All right, we got one strand up. Look at down here. Probably can't see it very well. One strand up. I'm gonna have to change those two T posts that are down in that dip. I'm gonna have to go get taller T posts, fix that. So I left that without being strapped in yet. The rest of it's up. It's time to run strand number two. So. Gotta get to work.